This video will go over how to create a picture-in-picture -picture effect or a video wall. Now in Avid, what you will do is you will select your clip and you will go to the effects palette. So if you go to your project bin, you will select on the effects. And then if you go to blend, you will see where there is a picture in picture effect. Select that, drag it to your clip. And now you will see your clip having the picture in the picture effect. Now we need to manipulate where the clip will go as far as precision is concerned and perhaps we want to change the size. This is a preset that's already done on there so it's automatically centered and it's automatically at 50%. So we're going to go ahead and change that. To do that we go into the effect mode. So on the left hand side of your timeline you will see these buttons located on the left hand side you will select this button here and that will take you into the effect mode the effect editor will show up this is the effect editor and the way it works is you'll select on the parameter that you wish to manipulate so I will select on position and in here you can see that it will allow you to move this accordingly so I'll move it there now you can also select on your monitor and go ahead and move it to another position so you can certainly do it manually so your program monitor can help you with that and I can also resize it there as well so let's say I want to resize it to that size so I'll position it there and there it is so we have that there and if I were to close my effect editor and go ahead and play this the clip will play in the timeline now let's say I want to create another video and put it in the same monitor perhaps to the right of it so I have to create a new track in Avid Media Composer you select the command key and the letter Y and that will create a new track go ahead and patch video 2 so in the left hand side of my timeline select on V1 to the source and I'll go ahead and patch that to V2 the way you do that is you left click on there let's see and drag it to V2 so there you go and now I'm going to take off my patches for my audio because I do not want any audio to come in I simply want several videos without anything interrupting the original audio that I have on here now what I want to do is I want to mark this clip in the timeline to make sure that the next clip that comes in it gets to be the same length as this one so select in the timeline press the letter T and that will mark your video so in and out points are created in my timeline, making sure that whatever uh, clip comes into track two is the same length as the one on track one. Go back to my original bin, let's select my video bin, and I will select a different clip. So let's say I wanted to select this clip here. Mm. Well, it doesn't matter what portion. I'll put an endpoint only. And when I select on there, I select the letter B to overwrite. And when I do that, I will see that my clip has come into the timeline. Of course, you do not see the other clip because this clip is at full size and it's not viewing the one underneath it. So we have to resize this one. So if I press the command key and the letter eight, I mean the number eight, sorry, the number eight, the effects palette comes up again or you can select on the effects palette whichever one and I select on the blend again I select on picture and picture click and drag that to the second track when I do that once again I see my clip being resized automatically go to the effects mode once again it's the button here 
on the left hand side of your timeline and then I will go ahead and reposition it so I'll reposition it here and move it there yeah, that's good and I'll go to scaling and scale that down oops yeah that's about right and I'll go ahead and drag on the program monitor and do it myself manually all right once I do that you'll see that we have a picture-in-picture -picture effect or a video wall and you'll continue doing this as you get your um, footage together again to make a new track command Y or control Y if you're on a PC make sure that you have the correct track selected to come in make sure you turn off any audio patches so nothing interrupts with the audio the letter T to mark your timeline or your clip in the timeline select a point of interest to start your video in your source monitor press the letter B and now that video comes in once again in the effects palette or tab you'll select picture in picture select that effect drag it to the clip and now you'll go to the effects editor and once again go ahead and resize that or reposition it and rescale it and that's how you go about making your video wall or picture in picture whichever way you want to call this so that's how you go about doing a video wall or picture in picture effect in Avid Media Composer 7 thank you for watching making the reel